Praise God, praise God. Greetings to you in listening land today. My, what a privilege the Lord has granted us to come your way to tell you the good news that Jesus loves you. Amen, amen. God is good and his mercy endure forever. This is another opportunity to come together again to fellowship around the word of God, amen, to see what God would say to us this evening. Well, actually, this evening, I'm excited because this is actually a special day. This is this is actually what would be Mother Tucker's 104th birthday. Oh, woo. But it actually falls on this day. So it's January 4th. And it would be her 104th birthday. So tonight we're going to do things a little differently. Had to take a moment and just um, acknowledge that, especially when it falls on the day. Amen. So we're going to do things just a little differently. I I think um, actually Pastor C.E. is already on with me. Hello, Pastor C.E. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thank you for jumping on. Hey, there he is. Good evening, sir. How you doing? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Hey, man. Well, it's good to see you. Good to have you on here as well. So I'm going to, I'm going to be fancy, CE. I'm going to be fancy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a video first, and then we'll, right. we'll, 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 we'll chat uh, some more on it in Jesus' name. I um. I thought I was ready, 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 but I will be in Jesus' name, amen. But this is, go ahead, see, share a little bit, just share a little bit. No, I want to hold you. I want to hold you for a minute, okay? Just hold on a minute. All right. Hold on. We're going we gonna to get you here. One moment, please. One moment. All right, so I'm going to just share just a couple of videos and all as, as we are celebrating and all a couple of videos that were done. One of them was done by um, Rodney, and then another was done by Dara, and I'm seeing that it's showing what I'm looking at, and I didn't want to do that, but it is. It's all good. All right, here we go. In front of the resale shop that Mother Tucker had, and this is where it all began. She had a she had a resale shop here where different homeless people would come through and she had to deal with them on a daily basis and this is where the burden for the homeless was birthed at on this corner. It was it was a set of buildings uh, but this is where it all began. This, 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 was, this was the birth of the burden of the house of prayer and rescue. She would do a lot of ministering down here with people, you know, uh, different people in the community, in the neighborhood that came through. Uh, she knew just about everybody that that was in the area that even worked in the area. So she, she had a good rapport with everyone. So. What I remember where everything started. This is where Grandma would be. Come down here with Grandpa as well. Um, with him helping with furniture, um, you know, with his truck or whatever. But that's about it. Cause I was. But I do remember. Um, I also worked down here, so I passed by this spot every day. Um, yeah, I do remember something. We have 
over 800 churches in this vicinity. We, we, get, we sent out that much mail at one time to churches, letting them know what we was doing. And I don't believe that we have 800 people in the street, you know, just frankly, just 800 people that every church could get one person apiece every, every week. I, I, I think we'd run out of people, you know? And I think this is a simple vision that would just clean it up. That is hard because they sleep in our doors. Most of them are sleeping out doors because they don't qualify to get in other places. And these people are real people, although they may be hard to deal with, but they're real people. I've been in the church world for a long time, and I never have seen too much interest from us about the poor. And, and, and uh, it seemed like there's a likeness of faith that people uh, will ever change if they get down or either that uh, you don't need to invest in them. When people are really down, they really need somebody. And I feel like that's the best to invest your life in is helping people who really need help. It's fulfilling. It is. It's just really fulfilling to to see lives that you have to turn around. Because they're precious. Laura Brewster, Channel 6 News. I came here because uh, my life had virtually fallen apart. Jim Mallow says the ministry takes on men who feel they have no other place to turn. Homeless and without hope and, and frightened would have the opportunity to bring their lives back into perspective. The street people that Grace ministers to are, in her opinion, the product of society. She believes the reason the number of Tulsa's homeless has risen is because Tulsans aren't reaching out. We just didn't get to them. You know, we didn't get to that person that had a broken home and, and, and was really depressed and they just couldn't hardly function for a little while. We didn't get to them with spiritual help and a uh, helping hand and say, well, uh, you know, we'll go together and we'll, we'll catch your house payment, but you get yourself together, boy, and, you know, get back on your job, you know. Uh, we, we, you don't have much of that going on, see. If it wasn't for this place, it would, uh, the north side of town would be really a slum. It would be more slum than it is today. And I think it's doing a lot of good to House of Prayer. I know it brought me from a long ways myself. Jesus is one amongst people like this, so I think it ought to be just a common thing for pastors to come down and witness and, and even adopt a soul down here. I really do believe in what she's doing. If I didn't, I wouldn't be here this long myself. You know, I believe in her. Uh, I believe in her. And I really do believe in what she's doing, helping people, you know. I can see a crack fiend smoking down Main Street. If it wasn't for Mother Tuckers, I probably wouldn't be. I can see a perfect picture with a safe underneath. This is what I represent every time you see me. These are my visions, 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 visions. From the Tisdale, these are my
That's all right, indeed. Oh, that's hey, man. Right. Wow, that was cool. I, you know, just taking a moment to to take this in. Like I said, we're celebrating the 104th birthday of our founder, Dr. Mother Grace Tucker. And uh, it would just only be the right thing to do to, to take this time from the normal, regularly scheduled programming to acknowledge her life and what she has done. And the reason we're here today, amen. So, hey, ma'am, it looks like some of my siblings have jumped on. I see uh, Betty has jumped on, and my brother Lawrence, and Sister Jan has jumped on as well. So good to see you guys coming on this evening. Amen. 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 I, was, I was saying, see, I see he had popped on. I was saying, I, I said, I got I to gotta save you for a minute, Pastor so just so I'm coming back to you. So I wanted to come back to Pastor C.E. to um, to at least, I, I, I know the, the stories are rampant, right, in terms of there's so many stories and all. And, and I just got to thank you again for even covering this past week where we did a homecoming revival that was just really in honor of, of mom and, and her, the revival mindset that she just locked into that got us, look, got us through a lot of things. Amen. But, um, Pasi, I want you to go ahead and share just a couple of stories or share what's on your heart in terms of just remembering, remembering mom on this day. Wow. <clears throat> Thank you, uncle. Um, there's so much to remember about that precious, precious woman. And I, I'm a little horse. I'm not sick. I'm horse from the revival. Um, been trying. I got that Pentecostal croup, they call it. But um, we had a great time in the revival. But I thank God. I'm 50 years old. And uh, Mother Grandma came into my life around two or three years old is when I first met her. And then we came back around when I was about 14. And the impact that she, her ministry, the anointing and, and the preaching and, and the the example that she had on my life is monumental. And uh, yeah, the stories are endless. The revivals, the sacrifices, the middle of the night phone calls, the, the uh, times you had to get up and go take care of something because that's just what um, you would do. I remember uh, here a few years ago, we had a tent revival here by the church. And after the revival of man, Walked that's under everybody the everybody else that's on right now. Uh, and I'm that's whoops, me. Whoops, whoops. Just just muted her. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> we uh man walked under the tent and he had been walking for a while. He had just got out of prison that day and had landed in Tulsa and was trying to get to Drumright, Oklahoma. And it was like eleven o'clock at night. And he was telling us about that. And I looked to one of our cousins and I said, Dan, I know what grandma would say if she was here. I said, She'd look at me with that big smile and say, You want to go to Drumright? So we got in the car and we drove to drum right, took that man to his mother's house. That was just the kind of stuff she would have us doing, just sacrificing to see about people. She was all about people, all about people. And she thought about stuff that, you know, you might not think about. She would come from a different angle on stuff when you'd be trying to figure out what to do. She'd come from a different angle. Oh, we need to consider this. Have you considered this? And she was just very, very much about people and, you know, Yes, it, the impact that she had on this community, the impact she had on me personally, the impact that she's had on our family, it, it's its monumental. It's monumental. And so I've thought about her a lot today. I uh, had to stay off of Facebook because there was a lot of memories that came up, uh, pictures of her praying for me in services and praying for my children and, 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 and praying for people. One of the greatest uh, memories I have of her was just playing for her. You know, because when she would start ministering to people, I would just go on autopilot, you know, just just play. And she would just pray for people and you'd see people's lives change and, and people getting healed and delivered and set free. And sometimes she prayed for people two or three times in the same service, but she was determined that everybody was going to get blessed. And I thank God for that mindset that that she had <clears throat> that she had and that she trained all of us to not. Now go by feelings, you know, you may be tired, but you go on ahead and you do what needs to be done because when at the end of the day, what, how you do people and how you do unto people, that's what God's going to judge. 
So we had a great example in that precious woman. I wasn't ready for that video that you showed, all that singing that she was doing. I miss her voice, I miss her voice. So yeah. I just thank God for that. But she is a great, great example, great woman of God. So I'm just thankful to be a part of this great ministry. Amen. Amen. I tell you what, man, we appreciate you, man. You, you know, you have labored and continue to labor um, in the ministry and all. And the, the, the impartation is recognized, you know, um, as well. I say you mentioned not wanting to see things and all that. I know these, these times can be challenging, but I got a couple more videos too. So, you know, get ready. If you, if you, if you thought that was one, then, you know, there's a couple more coming. So all right. <laughs> prepare yourself for it, but appreciate you, man of God. Appreciate you so much. This, this, this is a blessing and an honor to just work with you in ministry. You know, it's a blessing to remember you when you were what, 14, 14, <laughs> that, my memory kicks in around that time because that's when we spent time together, you know, yeah. in terms of hanging out more and everything. But it's wonderful to see. I can't believe you just said you're 50 because you're catching up with me. And then you, <laughs> you know, you go ahead yeah, and pass. But, <laughs> but really grateful for the, the, the dedication that you had, even to mom and the ministry and all as well. Very powerful. Um, the The stories and all that you know, that you have, that you went through, even the ones you were sharing last night, you know, from the message and all. And by the way, man, you preach. I told him, y'all, I told him, I said, I said, man, you preach like Jesus was coming tomorrow. <laughs> when you <laughs> preached last night, thank you for your obedience. But the stories that you have and the stories that you shared, even when you shared how mom would introduce you and she would say, this brother CE, he died at a mom. But this, <laughs> yeah. Just, just share that one more time. Just one of one or two of them with you. Just that. <laughs> well, that was, I thought that was so precious. <laughs> when I when I, we moved back in '93 and I started just being consistently at the church and she started working on me, um, she she would introduce me to people and she'd say, "This is Brother C. E. He's a blessing, but he's like Peter. He says the wrong thing sometimes, and or or he's like the army that kills their own. You know, she would say <laughs> stuff like that." And and I would just be like so embarrassed, but she was trying to help me not to get caught up in pride, you know, and to understand I still had a lot of work. And I and I thought, will I ever get to the place where she says, "This is Brother C.E.," and just stops? Yeah, right there, yeah. you know. And I live to see that day. I live to see that day that she's just said, "This is Brother C.E." <laughs> she didn't have a disclaimer on it, so yeah, yeah. Like, she knew how to she knew how to keep you humble. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. And it was all for the glory of God. All Amen. for the glory of God. Yes. Well, man, I appreciate you so much. And thank you for sharing that, sir. Appreciate you. Yes, all sir. right. So like I said, I got some siblings on the line here as well. Let's see. We got Betty, Larry, and Janet. And um, I think Regina was on it. She jumped off, but she, maybe she'll be back, hopefully. Um, and all, but um Siblings, y'all want to jump in and say something? Who, look, who wants to go first? Hey, Amen. Just talk about talk about your mama on her birthday. <laughs> These are my siblings. I have my oldest sister, our oldest sister Betty is on, and our oldest brother um, Lawrence is on, and of course Jan is the. I think it's Jan, you just fall in the middle somewhere, don't you? Because you got middle child. <laughs> syndrome going and everything but doing a wonderful job but um but betty why don't you go ahead and share betty bj sure uh thank you roy nice 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 idea <laughs> thank you <laughs> praise god uh, can't celebrate mom enough she dedicated her her whole life to ministry and helping people I I never knew of her not being saved because I think she got saved when I the year I was born I think so. Wow, that's all I know. It's mom and church and ugh, <laughs> 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 and church and church <laughs> and church <laughs> and uh, she had many and uh, Georgia and and uh, me in a trio, you know, and we were. We were singing as a, she would make us special clothing 
look alike, you know, outfits and everything. And we would go out of town and run revivals. Georgia would preach and mm. men would sing and I would play the piano. And so that's all we knew is church <laughs> and, <laughs> and more church. <laughs> Amen. But, uh, she was amazing. Just amazing. I, I I was just amazed at her her vision. It was yeah. so vast. Yeah. Even into her old old age, she was just still having visions of stuff she wanted to do. I was in the car with her, her and I think it was Diane and and uh, we were with her and I mean this is just before she got you know her last illness. Mm-hmm. And we were in the car, and she was we were riding at that, and she looked at a building and said, "Oh, that's a nice building." <laughs> she was still dreaming. She just, <laughs> her vision was just amazing. Yes. Yeah. So I am, I am blessed to have had her as my mother, yes. and uh, she, she just set a wonderful example. And I praise God that. Uh, Regina and you all are carrying on the ministry and still Amen. being a blessing in the land. And Amen. Just Amen. Keep on keeping on in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Don't and don't try to act like you know you you already got the title of a little mini mother Tucker <laughs> out there in <laughs> Dallas. So we just, your 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 example has been impeccable. I really would like for you to share the story about how. When you were in school, BJ, when you were in school and you didn't wear pants, just kind of share that story, um, if you don't mind. Um, oh, when I had to, um, we had gymnasium classes and we had to wear, you know, the uniform. And of course, I, I, that was against, you know, the church rules. So I... Uh, my grades were affected by by that, of course. But uh, yeah, didn't wear pants ever. <laughs> and you didn't do it because of because you really elected to honor, right? You. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because you could have, you know, <laughs> you know, but you yeah. you really chose to honor, so that's really. Wow. Yeah, I always thought that when I reached, a, a, when I left home, I could do what I wanted to do. But at home, I was going to honor, you know, the rules and regulations as closely as I could. I, I'm sure I didn't, I wasn't perfect, but. Well, we think you were. <laughs> I think, and I think we all agree, too, on that, too. But, yeah. Because you know, a, a part of tonight is about honoring. You know, honoring the mm-hmm. mother, honoring Mother Tucker, honoring the work that was done. And it really is a principle in honoring that you really exemplified, you know, as well, which is very just it just impacted all of us. So appreciate Praise you. the Lord. Appreciate Praise you. Lord. That you said Amen. as well. Amen. Amen. Well, Praise Praise God. God. All yeah. right. Well, big brother Lawrence, I see you're unmuted and ready. Oh, you know I am, Roy. <laughs> So good to see all you beautiful people. And of course, recognizing the, the I think the, my, well, this, she just was, our words can I describe what mother meant to me as well, I'm sure as well, as, as well to you guys as well. And one of the first things I wanna to bring to my, I was, I was, well, when I was a kid, mother and I were in the car together and uh, we were going someplace and she was driving, of course, and I was sitting on the front of the front, the front seat with her. And I hit, I was sitting on the edge of the seat. And mother told me, she said, Lawrence, you better sit back in your chair, you're gonna bump your head. And so I thought I was, you know, I knew what was going on. I'll be all right, you know, I'll be all right. And she hit a bump and I and I no bumped my head, I broke the windshield. Yeah. Uh, I broke the windshield. <laughs> And right away, I started 
talking about her. Uh, I said, you can't drive. I said, Brother Pony, I was naming everybody I could name that could drive better than her. Brother Pony can drive better than you. Mm -hmm. I don't know, she's just laughing at me. And boy, I tell you to sit back and burn my hand. Sure enough, I burned my hand. That was my first experience as a mother. We just laughed about every time we, we had an opportunity to share that, that story. Um, um, I'm uh, sorry, uh, just yeah. a lingering question. Yeah. You broke the windshield. You didn't say yeah. anything about your head bleeding or nothing. No, my head wasn't bleeding, man. My head was not bleeding. I was too hard headed. You know, and uh, <laughs> I just broke the windshield. And she, and she just laughed at me, you know. And but I talked about her and she just laughed because I was telling her, Brother Porn can drive, but everybody I could think of who could drive was telling, telling her that they could drive better than her. And, uh, <laughs> and she did, and she just laughed at me. Wow. Those type of memories, uh, and I have so many uh, of a mother and myself together, not to mention church. You yeah. know, church was, I mean, church was our life. Yes. You know, it, was, it was our life. I mean, I, 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 I was at church seven days a week, possibly. Um, and uh, well, Friday nights were special night, really special night to me, growing up because of a youth night. Uh, and so we had a, we had the different ones that come in. We all do our our particular participation in singing a song that we that we thought we know in our heart we wanted want to sing. And I remember one particular night that we had our cousins there for the first time. They didn't go to church that often. And uh, but one thing Mother did, and we all know that she always encouraged everyone. Yes, she always her her heart was to make you know the love of Christ. To know, to know the love of Jesus. Yes. And um, she never deterred from that, always. And so our, our cousins were up and they were singing, we all got up singing our different songs and our, our church related songs. And they got up and they started singing um, uh, <laughs> uh, the one sort of, I once had a, a dog in the wind. Yeah, 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 that was that. It's a singing the song once that dog in the window. And, and when they were singing a song, we didn't we didn't laugh at them because we knew better. We were just letting them sing a song. And, and we were just, you know, treating them and clapping for them and so forth, you know. But and mother just, you know, that was the way she was. Yeah. She just, she encouraged you to know Jesus. Yes. She did everything in her heart for you to know Jesus. And I, I can tell you story after story after story of how she, I mean, when I was acting, a, when I was really acting a fool and I was in the game and everybody had my story there. Uh, when I was 17, I was, you know, crazy. I was in the gang and doing all the gang activity and, and had my own you know, car and all that stuff. And, and we know some terrible stuff. But one day the Lord got me he got my ear. And all I heard was this, you're going to die. That's all I heard was, you're going to die. And, and I couldn't shake it. And I was like, you know, I, I didn't fear any man. I just didn't have any fear of man. So I thought, what in the world is this? You know, that keeps telling me I'm going to die. And so I went to mother after they kept going. They kept telling me that. And I, and I couldn't shake it. And when I told her that, she started laughing at me. Started laughing. And I thought, this is weird. My mother's laughing at me. And I'm, and, and I'm telling her, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this message. I'm going to die. <laughs> so she, she said, boy, that's just the Lord telling you this time. <laughs> she, she knew exactly what to say. Yeah. And when she said that, I knew exactly what I need to do. And sure enough, I, I obeyed the spirit. And, and I just quit the game right out, right out, right, right there. So, you know, working with her and going to church. And, um, yeah, you know, but, you know, that's the way mother was. I mean, I give you, I can story, a story after story, out, and I'm sure we all have them, of how she heard the spirit and she obeyed the spirit and she gave the word to spirit uh, uh, for her to give you, and it, and it changed your life. It's, I literally saved my life. Um, because a month later, my friend was, 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 was killed because he, he, he was still in the situation, and a month later, he was dead, oh. about a month later. And um, he, tried, he called me and he said, Talk, we want you back. Man, I said, man, I can't come back. I said, Lord told me, Lord brought me. I said, I want you to come where I am, but I can't come back where you are. You know? And um, 
but that's the, the that's the power of the, of the grace of God and the Holy Ghost, and, and we all know that that how she walked and operated in the, in the spirit. I can go on and on, but I know we had a lot of uh, people I want to share tonight, so I'm not going to take up too much of your time here with, you. with my story because uh, I I can keep the mic, brother. I can keep absolutely. The mic. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. And 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 you know what? It's great. You know, I, I'm loving that you have the stories. You know, that's oh, yeah. that's the stuff that keeps us right. The, know, the stuff that goes when when somebody tells you, "Oh, God ain't gonna do it. Or God don't do." It. You're like, "Oh, yeah. well, no." <laughs> he, he talked to me. He he said something to me. Got me out of that. You know, situation. Okay. And also, thank God. Thank God for the wow. Praise Amen. God. Amen. All right. So, so I'm going to be, I'm going to be DJ right now. We're going to listen to a, a song from mother and all, and let's um, enjoy this, this, this moment of this song with mother Tucker. Amen. Amen. You guys hear it? Can you guys hear it? I think I want to make sure I shared it right. Can you hear it? Yeah, we hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ship that's tossed and driven, that a dial ain't we see when the storms of life are raging and the bird Makes this race so hard to run. But I say to my heart, don't worry, for the Lord will make a way somehow. The Lord will make a way somehow. Sorrow 
Keyboards, right, BJ, and then Doyle, of course. Oh man, that was just a precious, yeah, that was precious, time. precious time. Yes, yes. so glad. Uh, I'm so glad Doyle pushed and got that project done. With, yes, with her, yes, and her singing. Well, it's so precious, it's precious indeed. Yeah, precious indeed. Well, all right, so. Uh, siblings, who wants to be next in Sharon? Who who wants to, to go next? I see Pastor Regina came back on. Praise God. Blessed Sister Diana, Minister Diana, Ambassador Jan. Um, who wants to go next? Or if you want to say something, this is the time. You can say something. Amen. As we honor the reason we all here, <laughs> for sure. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to order. Looks like it's Jean, Betty's first and Lawrence, and so since I'm next in in um, chronological oh, okay. order, well, let me make sure um, Janet and Regina got that memo. Y'all got that memo, Janet and Regina? Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just you know. <laughs> but go ahead, it's just Diane. Look like it. Um, what are we What are we doing? Just Just, just sharing a memory. Yeah. Uh, just sharing a memory. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well. I guess the one that, that stands out with me right now is when I was when I was uh younger and I would go and spend the night, you know, with certain saints, you know, and and just seeing how they were at home in comparison to how they were, you know, around the saints, you know, or in church around mom whatever and and just seeing that different that whole different <laughs> whole personality and everything um you know and i'm not going to name any names in particular <laughs> but i think i think some of the family members of her heard before and kind of know main, mainly who i'm referring to in particular but um but i remember coming home from from spending the night with with you know family i mean i <laughs> and i asked mama I said, Mama, are, are saints supposed to cut? <laughs> <laughs> she, she just kind of chuckled. <laughs> and uh, she said, well, no, I asked. <laughs> I said, Sister Sosso, he be cussing. <laughs> he be cussing. <laughs> so, so. So mama just kind of chuckled, you know, and, and uh, just, you know, say, well, no, they, the, the saints are not supposed to cuss. You know? yeah. <laughs> but, okay, I'm just trying to check and make sure because I right. know, you know, that we, you know, what we saw in the home, 
with with the way Mama interacted with us and everything, it was it was always the same. You know, yes. there was no difference in the home and around. She didn't act a certain a certain way, you know, in church or when the saints came around in the home or whatever. Yeah. She didn't act differently towards us or anyone. You know, it was always the same. You know, so that's one thing I can really, really, uh, and you know, I really admire about seeing that example. You know, so well that's that's just you know, one of my stories of her her integrity and her her just living the life that she yes. that yeah. she that she preached about that she taught us about she didn't like I said she didn't live one she didn't teach one way and live another way that's right and that's that's what the example that I remember in particular I want to share that's right that's, yeah. right. that's a good one that's good Diane. that's a good one too because it the consistency was really powerful because she was, mm -hmm. she was yeah. consistent, man. It was, yes. you know, look, if she fussed at home, us at home, she would fuss at the church too. So. Oh, right. It was no difference. That's why they were confused. No, but she didn't cuss. Who, she didn't cuss. Who, she didn't cuss, but that's how they, they were confused as far as, when, you know, the, she treated them just like she treated us. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's, so, that's it was powerful. love, but we know it was love. We yes. Know it was, it was, yes. It was always, you know, we know she, she loved us. You know, even when we get try to be mad at us when she at, at her when she whipped us, I try to stay mad at her until I would say I would not ever speak to her again. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Whipping <laughs> me, whipping me, and saying it's hurting me worse than it's hurting you. I'm thinking to myself. Now I know Mama's not supposed to. She don't lie, but that's not true. She's <laughs> feeling these licks. She's not feeling that, but I didn't dare, you know, say it to her. But I'm like, that, that's not true. Yeah. But, you know, as I got older and had my own children, I understand it now. But I just, I was like, mm, that that's not a true statement. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now, but, now you understand it, huh? So I understand, now, yeah. I understand. When I, you know, when I had my own children, you know, you don't like to have to discipline them, and, you know, yeah. but you have to, you know, somebody's got to do it. I remember when she was trying to tell daddy to do it. <laughs> daddy was whipping one of the boys, I think. <laughs> and my, you know, daddy didn't, he didn't whip that, that hard. He didn't hit that hard, but he, but he wanted to keep whipping you till you cry. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, <laughs> so I remember telling what one time, I don't know who she was from, probably Lawrence Adore, or one of the boys. <laughs> She said, "Oh, this, you know, why, why don't you just stop? You ain't doing no good." Ooh, <laughs> you, ooh. Time, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that yeah. was. Yeah, mama, was mama did make you feel. I know y'all don't think I got any whippings and stuff, but mama made you feel mm -hmm. it. That's for sure. I, yeah. I think she she got me one time, and I called myself run away from home. I got on my bike, had my little <laughs> bag on my bicycle, and I was gone. <laughs> Riding mm. away, and then mm. I got hungry, so I mm. turned around and came back. <laughs> came on back home, okay. but yeah, she, you, mm -hmm. you felt it. You definitely felt yeah. it. Yeah, but her example was just. She just she stood for something at all times, you mm -hmm. know, at all times, and that's that just says a lot. We, right. we just, we're blessed. We're blessed. She made, you, she made you go and get your own switch. <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah. That was right. You know, that. You better, come back, with the, you better come back with the right one, too. <laughs> yeah, you better come back with the right one. Right. Come back with no little bitty one. She go out there and, like, get the treat. Right. <laughs> right. She twists them, them up too, make two. Oh yeah, you know, like she sure would. Yeah. I I think um yeah. I, I always said there was some kind of conference that the parents must have went through to at all those times because they all came back saying doing the same stuff. Get your own switch. Go get us and don't come back with no little one either. Don't come back. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Praise God. Oh, we wow. Think we, we, yeah, we think we're going to bring a switch to get on her good side. Mom, I found you a good switch. And we're thinking, we gonna, I'm thinking maybe Dawes going to get whipped with it. You know? I wind up having to get a whipping with it later. So I'll stop that. <laughs> yes, amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. We have some memories, some good memories. Amen. Oh, God. Good. Amen. <laughs> amen. 
Hey, man. So, yeah, Regina put in the, the chat on Facebook that, that she didn't abuse us. Well, it no. might be debatable, but but yeah, no, she did. She no. did. Well, she didn't believe it was it was certain parts of the body. She would make sure she said you don't hit a child on the head. Yeah. You know, you don't. You know, you hit them below. You know, uh, you know, below the, their uh, uh, back part. You know, and stuff. And then and then too, she would say you don't hit a child with your hand. Mm-hmm. She said she said your hand. A child wants to be able to to trust your hand and, and, and know that your hand is to, to, to love them with and, and, and to comfort them with. And so she, and when she said that, because I was, I think I was going to hit, hit Marty with my hand one time and she, and she stopped me mm-hmm. and she said, um, you know, she said, I, I never hit you with, with my hand. And then, then I was, one time I was, I remember I was yelling at, at uh, Marty, at Christopher, whatever we're going to call him right now. Anyway, and she told me, she said, Diane, don't yell. She said, I didn't yell at y'all. I'm like, I'm trying to think, I'm like, I'm trying to think, you know, if I ain't come up with a moment where I could really, you know, mm. confirm that she did, yeah, you know, so I couldn't, but, you know, she was saying, she said she didn't, she didn't yell at us, now she told us we was going, you know, to, you know, to not do it, she meant it, you know, and if she told us that she was going to whip us if we, you know, she meant it, and she did it, but, you know, certain things, you know, certain ways of, of, of discipline, uh, she, she just had her certain ways, too, that she, you know, uh, had a standard on that you know so <laughs> thank god that. thank god yeah yeah and regina regina's really chiming on the facebook chat she said she didn't whip us with an extension cord you know you could talk regina if you want to talk you know <laughs> <laughs> she didn't whip us with yeah, extension cords and dangerous tools and that's right she because... whipped all of them with extension cords i don't know what i i lord I'm sorry, I remember no. some extension. No, she always she, she always she always uses switch with me. Always uses switch. That's okay. <laughs> how I know. <laughs> yeah. She definitely yeah. she, she definitely was a mom. She definitely oh, mom. Yes. yes, indeed. She was definitely mother yeah. mother Tucker on on square. Mother Tucker square. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Diane, for sharing that too. Thank Amen. you. Um, so Jan, I guess if Diane says you're going in order, that would be you next, Jan. You there? All right. While Jan is getting it together, I'm, I'm gonna... trying to get off of mute. Oh, there you go. Okay, there you go. Go ahead. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you. As... As we as uh, Betty said, thank you, Lord, for putting this together tonight. And um, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I thank God that grief has a process to it, you know. And the goal is to be able to celebrate the memories. Yes. The goal yes. is to press through the part where you're sad and you're missing them and all that. You know, there's a space for that. Yes. But when I think about Psalms 23 and it says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I add grief with that. Mm-hmm. Although I walk through the shadow of the valley of grief and death, I will fear no evil. We want to walk through this grieving process. And and I try to encourage people that, you know, are going through, you know, some people just lost their mom and I know she is really flesh and losing his mom and 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 so that part of grieving is real and you need space for that but to really you know know that you're on a journey and the journey is to be able to celebrate celebrate their memory celebrate their life celebrate you know that that whole place of because there's so much to celebrate Yes. But a lot of people don't make it there because they feel like they're doing a disservice to the individual by staying in a place of, you know, solemnness and things. So God is helping us. This is 10 years that mom's been gone and and uh, I'm I'm grateful to be able to celebrate her memory. I'm I'm grateful for I'm, I, I, some of the things tonight have triggered me to Thanksgiving. It just, you know, that I don't think I've ever used that word trigger in a positive way, <laughs> <laughs> but it's triggered me to Thanksgiving, to, to gratitude. 
But one of the things that um, that I remember growing up and hearing mom say all the time is, God gave me my children for the ministry. I mean, she drilled that, you know, and it seems like most of us did everything we could to not, you know, make sure she didn't see that, you know, and, but the devil is a lie, you know, that he, he was the one using us, you know, but I often would think about for the last 10 years, we've been meeting regularly on behalf of the ministry and the legacy of mom. And that's nothing but the grace of God that we are all, we've all been able to come together, you know, for that, for that purpose that we are all doing it for the sake of the ministry. My God. And it made me think about Abraham when God told him, you know, your, your seed is going to be as the stars in the sand. And Abraham didn't get to see it in the natural. But, oh, God is faithful. God is faithful. And to this day, I know there are three religions that hold him as their father. So the number is, is not countable in relation to, to his seed, you know. But we are of the seed of Christ, hallelujah, and, 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 and of the seed of Abraham. And we have so much to be excited about, to, to celebrate. And, and I, I just love that you thought of this, Roy. Amen. I thank God Amen. for CE for so many reasons, for so many reasons. Because while we were all doing our thing and he was there being faithful and diligent, I mean, it's, but he still covered mm. us. He still, to this day, I still feel his prayers for us, you know, and stuff. And, and to the, for him to know all our, <laughs> our craziness, you know, everybody don't know our craziness, you know, where we could go with each other. But see, he knows it and he still loves us and he still covers. And that's just a <laughs> blessing. That's that's a blessing. And that was before he became family, like, you know, as far as the, you know, nephew, he was still, but he's still just that one. And I, I just wanted to take the time to say that I appreciate, I just appreciate him and and, and his part in the ministry. Amen. And I cannot Jen, did you ever get any out. whippings? Did you ever get I'm any sorry? whippings? Did I'm you, sorry. Did you ever get any whippings? Yes, but but why are you why are you you, why are you doing that right now? I'm on the flow. Cause I know you're on the flow because you're being very spiritual right now. We, we no, just, I'm just I, trying I'm to. Going somewhere. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Amen. Amen. Bear with me, my brother. I know you're going to take us to Jesus. I feel like you're just going to take us on. I'm like, hold on a minute. Wait, wait. You're supposed to take us on. <laughs> Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. But before I before I share about the whipping, I want to get this in. I just want to take a moment to honor the memory of Doyle and David for their labor in the ministry. I just think that's appropriate in relation to they labor with mom and 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 the help helping the ministry to be what it became in Jesus' name. Amen. So sorry I had to get all deep on you, Roy, but you know me. I don't know why you didn't expect me. To do what I do, this is what I do. I'm just that moderating. As as for the whipping, I'm just moderating. Whipping, that's all. To praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Praise as far as for the whipping, yeah, I got, I got my share. I got, I got my share. I didn't, I didn't clean up the kitchen one time when Mama left, and she woke me up whipping me. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, that, and then I, then I got a whipping because I told told Polly and Scotty to go back to the store and steal me some toys mm. because they had mm. went and stole and didn't bring me back nothing. Mm. Mm. So they told it on me and they didn't get no whooping. Mama just whooped me. Mm. And I didn't understand that, but <laughs> she knew. thank the Lord for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I love Amen. everybody. Amen. Amen. And Lisa, Lisa is on Facebook and she's chiming in. First of all, she says she beat Uncle Polly with a shoe and a hanger when she was there. Okay, that might have been true on that. And then she said, you probably got a whipping for making Scotty go still from Safeway. Well, she remembered that, Jan. She, <laughs> she, she remembered that as well. But praise God. This is precious. This is this is just celebrating 
mom and just celebrating who she was in terms of just all of that, all of it, because she was she was both human mom and she was yeah. minister, mother, yeah. Dr. Grace Tucker. And yeah. she did yeah. them both with such power and standards and and yeah. really elegance in terms of that you 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 didn't see raggedy. You know, she wasn't raggedy about how she disciplined us and even how she she ran, you know, or handled things and all. She wasn't just raggedy about it. You know, again, not perfect, but not just raggedy, you know, about it. So we're very, we're very blessed to have had the the dual element of like Jesus, you know, Jesus is is our savior because he was both God and man. You know, there was that that ability to be spiritual and then that ability to to cook the fish for the disciples, you know, that he had the ability to do that. And that balance, that balance is so important for us. And 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 we had that example, you know, not only in Jesus, but in Mother, Mother Tucker and Mom in terms of seeing that example. So, so what a blessing. What a blessing. All right. So before we get to uh Pastor Regina, I'm going to DJ and just share another the video here. All right. Um, all right. Here we go. Oh. But there are so many people that are pastoring that say to me that if it wasn't for Mother Tucker, I would not be pastoring. So many people say that. God's Mother has been a role model for me for about 45 years. She's like a mother hen. She cuddled her little children and everything she held good, she'd always bring me in it. That's a that's a longer video there, but I just want to get that little snippet in there. Amen. As we're sharing tonight. Oh my God. We we still have another video, a couple of videos that I want to squeeze in. So before we do that, I want um, of course, uh Pastor Regina, baby girl. She's um the baby girl. Amen. So Pastor Regina, you um you there? There you go. I don't know. Am I, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, I apologize for earlier. I was I was with my client, and uh, okay. he just he was fascinated with with this whole live Zoom thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Technology. Yeah, but thank you, Roy. Is everybody's saying this is really precious? Um, this is a precious thing. Amen. So, yeah, I was just busy trying to. So don't be don't, don't be make mama sound like she was abusive. I, I don't know. I was way down the fifteenth child, and I just remember mama was real careful with how she whipped us. Mm -hmm. And so when you know when like sometimes me and Janet, I remember one time Janet on Denver, when we supposed to be cleaning our room, mama would give us our chores, you know, assignments, and then she would you know she'd be gone off on her on her mission missionary work or something but she expect us she would expect us to get out and do our work she told us to clean our room this particular day and um so we decided to go to sleep <laughs> we laid down in the bed and we 
we decided to take a nap. I think we thought we were going to wake up before mom got home or something, but, and I, I remember her waking us up with a switch on our, on our legs. Mm. And I, and we both was, I, you know, I remember like, who, you know, you wake, you, you get waking up like this, like, who, stop it. And then you realize it's mom <laughs> and you getting, you get, you're in trouble. So she would get us with those switches and I, and then I, and she'd get up, did not tell you to, did not tell you to get, you know, clean this room and all that. So then, then, and so then she would do that and then she'd leave us to get it done. Then me and Janet would be sitting there comparing our little whips on our side. And we'd say, I remember saying, oh, Janet, oh, look at this one. Oh, <laughs> drama, drama. <laughs> and then we're like, oh, oh, look at this one. But, you know, they, they were, they didn't last, you know, but they, she, I think she used a lot of wisdom in how she did things. Cause I remember one time she was going to get me and she didn't, she couldn't find anything. And like Diane was saying earlier, she didn't, she didn't practice hit you with her hands and stuff. So she had this, she found this belt, but it had those little aluminum or metal pieces in it, you know, and she was trying to figure how to turn it over. And she, she refused to use it. She, she wouldn't use it and uh but you know with the boys I don't know you know I remember one time me and Apollos got into it and, and mom didn't like the way he was handling me and she picked up the nearest shoe and started hitting him said I told you not to be fighting her <laughs> <laughs> that's what Lisa yeah. was talking about she was there on that one huh? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's a Paulus. How you doing, a Paulus? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, <laughs> but I remember. So she, you know, she she taught us to love one another. She taught the boys don't be fighting the girls. I don't know how well they worked all the time, but, um, but we're we're overall, you know, we I think overall we 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 treat each other pretty good. <laughs> so. But I just, we're just grateful for the home that we're raising, you know, and, and like Diane was saying, daddy didn't really, he didn't like, daddy didn't like to whip us. Um, he didn't like to whip us, but I don't think mama liked it either, but, uh, but daddy was there and he was Somebody protector. <laughs> <laughs> he was a protector. Daddy, daddy was a protector and um, provider. I remember one time daddy told me he would, was sitting out, he was sitting out in front of the, in front of the garage at home. And I was sitting out there with him. I think I was helping him with the, you know, he would do a money order for the, for the house payment. And he would, that was the first thing he would do. He'd get that money order and then we'd help him fill it out because he got, you know, he got, he was a little older and his, he was a little nervous and stuff. So he would have us to write it. So one time I was writing that out for daddy. And he just started talking and he said, it's my job to take care of my family. No, this is what he said. He said, it's my job to keep a roof over my family's head. And then he said, he said, the he said if the electricity get cut off or the water get cut off, water, he said, we can get those things turned back on. He said, but it's my job to keep a roof over my family's head. And I never forgot that. You know, just that he took that job seriously. Yes, he did. Uh, yeah, he took that seriously. So, I, I I'm thankful for the, you know, for what our parents, mom and dad, were in agreement about, and that was raising their children to be there for one another, to be close, um, you know, to love one another, and and that was just they were very serious about that, and and I'm grateful to see the fruit of that in our lives right now we we come you know we go through some hard things sometimes but by god's grace and mercy we've been trained and it's put in us and by example and you know and by training to um find a way to forgive find a way to to you know to love just find a way yes. and um and i'm and that's something that's that's something you know that it's just worth everything. You know what I mean? It's priceless. And I'm just gr very grateful for, for that training that we got from both of our parents. 
I want to say this about daddy. Um, when mama opened up her rescue home, when mama opened up the rescue home, she obeyed God and did that. Daddy was right there, you know, in the background, you know, daddy and mom were married 51 years. Mom used to testify after daddy was gone. She used to say me and my husband was married 51 years um, without, and she said, and we were never separated overnight because of a quarrel or misunderstandings, you know, because if they were separated, they was like one that was out of town or something like that working. But she used to say that often. Um, and I, I, I was thinking about when, when, when the rescue home was running in the, and at that time in the eighties, the full gospel businessmen uh, meetings were very, you know, prevalent, I guess, if I can say, that, if I'm using the right word, but they were pretty, you know, they were blooming and everything. And the president of the full gospel businessmen uh, used to come down there to the rescue home and he used to minister. And he, you know, he would watch daddy. And mama said that, that uh, I think his name was Jack. I'm not sure it was either. Well, I can't remember his name. I could be wrong Jack. on that name. It was Jack. Okay. Yeah. He, he told mom, mama said that, that he told her that daddy was the most spiritualist man he's ever met. And he just watched because of how daddy, it wasn't because he, daddy wasn't in the pulpit preaching, but he just saw how daddy was there to support and how he was just genuine and real with, you know, in his hands on. Um, just how he carried himself. So I just thought that was pretty profound. Yeah. Yes. Amen. All right. I love y'all. That's all I have to say. That's a, <laughs> as we say on the line, the end, huh? <laughs> yes. yes. No, that's good, Gene. That's good. And that's, you know, I know we're talking about mom and I know Jam was uh, uh, giving kudos to Duell and David. And, and of course, and we give kudos to dad. You know, because there's so many, there's so many pieces that come together to enable mom to even do what she did, you know, that she was not an island by herself, you know, doing what she did. And, and like Janet said, we, we were groomed for <laughs> the BJ. I think that's saying, well, we were raised. That's how I was raised. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I was raised. <laughs> Yeah, dad but, was really a supporter of moms. He yes, was, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. But what, the funny thing about dad, he would get all dressed and go pick people up if they needed, you know, a ride and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and he would come back and mom said, Otis, you going to church? Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it today. <laughs> funny that he wouldn't go in himself a lot. <laughs> But he supported her. It was like, yeah, he did. He sure did. To set her. <laughs> and he, I mean, you talk about setting a good example on even how to do that. You know, how do exactly. you support her? It but is. it's not you, you know, in, in the lead spot and everything. You know, right. So he really, he really showed how to do that. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Well, our brother Apollos AP came on the line. So AP, would you like to share, sir? Good to hear Hello, everybody. You. See and hear you. Yes. Hey. <laughs> you can hear me? Yes. Put your hands in the air. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I know one thing about my mama. I know uh, all the big support because every time I went and visit mom, I would come back broke. Mm. You know, I have I have a little money on me. You know, I was out there. You know. Uh, Slanging alcohol and doing my thing. So I had a little cash. So I wanted to see my mama. Boy, I bet you those visits was far and in between because every time I came back, I was broke. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, I, I wondering, how did she do that? <laughs> you know <what> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm like, how did she do that? I mean, I would come. I'm, I'm like, well, amen. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, because her heart was always out for other folks, you know. Yeah. Always, always. And, you know, so, yeah, you know, if, uh, if, 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 if our heart went in it, her heart was in it, so she pull us in it, you know, just by us, you know, telling us to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah. amen. So, I do thank, thank God for the example, for sure. Yeah. Yes. For sure. Yes. For sure. Amen. I remember, I remember after, after I got saved, the Lord called me in. You know, I was 35. I don't know, mama, in the late 70s, if anything, probably close to 80. But uh, I'm saying, oh, Lord, you know, I could keep up with mama. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that work for oh, you? Yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I could, you know, I'm I'm young. Shoot, man, <laughs> I probably didn't last a day. <laughs> wow, man. Woo. Lord, because she was she was working on something, you know, that wasn't from the natural. She was she was working on, you know, like faith. You know, if she didn't feel yeah. like it, she knew how to do it. If she didn't feel like it, she didn't want, she just knew how to do it anyway. Yeah, so, that's I mean, right. She, yeah, we had to run shifts with mom. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just where that's just where she was in in, this, in that spirit realm, and, and she she got there by all that work, you know, fasting and praying, yes, and yes. seeking God, you know. Yes. Yeah, I yes. mean, so she she definitely God definitely put in the work in her to have the work that came out of her. He's yes. definitely put in the work spiritually in her. That's so, right. I mean, we, that's and, right. and that's a place where we always, you know, we, we can reach to, you know. That's right. So, you know, that's right. We'll tell people real quick, well, I, ain't, I ain't Mother Tucker. <laughs> 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 it's like, I ain't there yet. No. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I promise I'm trying, but good Lord. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. like, even. Even with uh, even with the, this water situation, I was like, "Oh no, you know, no uh, no water, no you know, no bathrooms. We don't need to have service." You know, just you know, that was that was my thing. But but uh, you know, Pastor C, C. E. He he's a protege of mom. Yes, indeed. and Mama wasn't about no excuses. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you be trying to get mama to excuse you for something, it wasn't happening. Right. <laughs> yeah. It just wasn't happening, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, so it, it, it was like, no, nah, we, we'll pack water, you know, what? And, and then after, you know, after that was said, you know, I was right in it. I was the one that got the water and stuff ready for the bathroom. <laughs> You know, yeah. but 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 it took somebody to be at that level to cause that to even you know for me to walk into that grace. That's right. Yeah. That's so you know, right. so that was just you know that was just the grace of God and and with some powerful services. You know. That's right. That's yeah. Right. That's yeah. Right. So, and I just thank God for that. Amen. You know, we, you know, don't think of yourself. You know, if you got to go up, you got to go up. You know, and I'm glad we had a place to go up too. You know, she ain't <laughs> never come down to our level. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, you know, and I, and then, then you know, a lot of uh, a lot of my good experience, you know, as as a child. Now, you know, uh, I got you know, I I really was for mama to whip me than daddy though, because you know, because you know, you don't want daddy whip you. <laughs> at least, at least me as a boy did. <laughs> <laughs> AP, I don't yeah, know if many, I don't know if many of us have that connection like that. You must have been in a lot of situations. Too. Well, yeah, well, I, I knew, I, yeah. I mean, mama, mama got me a lot, but daddy, yeah, you didn't want to get him, you know, because you know he, he was laid back. He, like the nicest person, you do not want to get them mad, <laughs> you know, or get them upset. <laughs> but yeah. But anyway, yeah. So like, like Regina said, yeah, I, I, I had been here with the shoes, shoes thrown at me because I was trying to smoke in the house one time. I thought Mama was gone. Ah, she, ah. Tried, she, she tried to knock this cigarette down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! So I had, you know, had those those situations also. Uh, but one thing I understood too is it because I I I would think I would look at all this stuff Mama went through. And and when I wasn't, you know, when my you know heart wasn't right with God, when I wasn't, you know, uh, had that in spiritual insight, I'm like, why, you know, it's going through this or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, but after I gave my heart to God, then I understood Mama better, mm -hmm. you know, because at, at the spirit level, and I and I even asked God, you know, you know, uh, why did He let her go through it? But He said. 
people know about my faithfulness, they need to see people's faithfulness. That part. Come on now. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, so, you know, it, 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 you know, his faithfulness needs to be shown through people so people can have an example of his faithfulness. Mm-hmm. Amen. So, mm-hmm. you know, like like we went the, the main story with Joe. That's a good story of that. Amen. So, amen. But hey, man, I didn't, I didn't come on to preach. That's all right. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all but, right. You know, but, but yeah, but it's just, it's, it's just lovely to be brought up. You know, like, like uh, what was said. I didn't get to hear much. I'm sorry, I came in so late. But uh, what was said about how mom and dad raised us. Hey, we, we can't complain. That's right. We can't complain. That's right. We had the spiritual and practical side. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So uh, thank God. I thank God for that. So that's a lovely idea to get in and and, and remember our mom on her birthday. Amen. Amen. (laughs) Amen. 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 I was thinking about AP when you were sharing. I was thinking about when you talked about how mama would wear us out kind of thing. We had to take shifts. Uh, Y'all remember that time when, when David, our brother David, he called himself being smart and giving himself to mom for, for Christmas. Christmas. Yes. That, um, you know, he was being deep. Oh, mom, I'm giving you me for Christmas. Well, mama wore him out. She wore him out. <laughs> but we was loving it because that meant we got a break. We, we got a break from getting up on some of the mornings and going this, that, and that. She called David. And you remember, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was too precious. Too precious. Was, oh, I, didn't was, know, I remember him saying that. Yeah, have people hugging him and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your Christmas present. Yeah, I remember that. But I, I didn't know. I didn't know. Mom took full advantage. But mom, I'm not surprised. I'm mom not surprised. took. She <laughs> took full advantage of that. We didn't know what to do. We're like, okay, David. All right, whatever. Mama worked that. She 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 worked that. And I'm wishing he hadn't said that that Christmas. <laughs> but but you said Amen. it though. I mean, we we I think BJ said it earlier too. I mean, her the energy and the passion that she had was just wow. Yeah. I mean, wow. Like we get home at three yeah. in the morning, she still get up the next morning to do something or whatever. Like, mama, we tired. <laughs> Get some right. Oh man. oh man. Well, praise God. Man, this is this is good. This is good. Okay. So I got I don't know if it might be one last video, but I got this video here I'm gonna show. And then if we have any final words or other words to share, of course we can. But I'm on I'm gonna DJ this one in. Um this was a we would have our fun time around the piano and everything. And this is one of those times when Doyle was on the keyboards and we were at oh, Minnie's house and we were doing the song, Mama, did Jesus, I'll never forget. And she threw some verses in there we didn't know nothing about. So here we go.
never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I never forget how you brought us out. Jesus, I never forget. No, never. I just yes. bless me. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Thank you, CE, for that live rendition there. Now, Amen. see, don't be starting nothing. See, don't be starting nothing now. See. <laughs> I, I, wanted, I wanted to say something when Uncle uh Polly was talking about her, something came back to my memory of how she would, you know, she was always talking about what the vision and the work that God had given her. And and that was that was like, you know, that's the first thing she's gonna talk about, you know, was whatever God was had on her heart. But she would go into other ministries and she would she would minister to those ministers and those pastors and those leaders and she would raise money sometimes for their causes and do things for them. And I remember mm -hmm. being in a service one night where she took a particularly long time to raise an offering for this uh, good work that this uh, person was doing. And after the service, I walked up on a conversation where some of the people, some of the people in the church were fussing about how long she had taken to take the offering. And they turned and saw me standing there. And I looked at them and I said, just consider this. She wasn't pleading for herself. Right. She was pleading for someone else. And she used to say, the Bible says the poor are neglected because nobody pleads for them. Mm -hmm. And she lived her life pleading, pleading for others. Everything she did. I remember her talking about calling, you know, calling, hey, I need food for this family or I need $20 for that family. I saw her go into debt. We all saw her go into debt you know, going to the loan, payday loan place and take a loan to get somebody to keep from being evicted and then beg to pay it back. You know, she was always doing something for somebody else. And I believe that's why she, you know, left such an indelible mark on this earth and on all of us is because she truly, truly was not pleading for herself. She, she often said, I didn't set out to be, to make a reputation or to be seen, but I, it's okay to be seen. That's right. Dude, you know, That's right. so I, I appreciated that about her. And she was always pleading, pleading for someone else. And that that is so, so wonderful. And uh, so that's all I'm going to say. Amen. That's good. That's good. And that's the truth, too. That's um, and that's man, I'm telling you, that's part of the. The heart of what we do, you know, even outside of even if we weren't, quote unquote, in ministry, because we saw the example we can't just walk by situations and not do something about, it. you know, we can't just ignore situations that are going on around us in our workplaces and things of that nature because of what we were raised seeing, you know, um, in terms of the example of, um, I mean, the living example. So thank God for that. Thank you for sharing that. I see beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, this, this is good. This is like, Hey, celebration of life, of birth. She'll be 104 years old. See, I think you said that somebody said, I wish Mother Tucker was still here. And then C said, well, I don't know if I want to still be here at 104 years old, but you know, but the memory is so powerful and all because the, the quality of life is what's important at that time. Amen. So we are so thankful to have the men of the memories that we have and we're able to really, I mean, all of it, we're able to take it in, you know, in the moments of the reality of, of like Jan mentioned earlier, grieving and those, those things are real, but we're not in a grieving process. We're in a, being able to celebrate the memories part of it. And of course we might even feel moments of just sad or tears, but they're not tears or just, Oh, I'm so sad. And so out of, out of control grieving. No, it's like, really tears of joy that we're able to really embrace what we were able to experience and, and, and how the impact, like you said, see the, it, it's just an impeccable or um, powerful impact that's been made. And man, I tell you, it's some big shoes to fill, big shoes to fill. I, see, you said, I think, and we've talked about this on our sibling call as well, um, that there's not one person with the mantle. It's, we all got some of the, we got, we all got some of it. And the part that we got is a lot. 
<laughs> Whatever part we got, it's a lot in terms of carrying, carrying it forward. So God knows, like we already talked about how much she worked around us, circles around us, you know, and also we're thankful for to being able to carry on in her memory and in the in the in the trailblazing way that she carried on ministry. And we didn't even show the full video of what the work done in Oak Muggy, how she started that work, being the first woman, especially black African American woman, to build a church there in Oak Muggy and to just really be a trailblazer in so many areas. And you came to the city of Tulsa. She's one of the first ones to actually feed people without requiring paperwork, you know, in terms of rushing them out and letting them stay in the shelter without requiring them to leave the next day and all that. She just was a trailblazer in those areas. And so we are very blessed to have had her in our lives, you know, in whatever capacity. I know there are many who call her mom and Mother Tucker and all and grandma and I know Lisa's on own throwing out stories on us on everything, you know, and all, but we are blessed to have someone that we're able to share. Amen. You know, that look, that people want to call mom because you know, we all know other moms and stuff that like we don't want to call them moms. We're like, okay. See, bye. I see you when I see you. But people want to call our mom, mom, a mother, and all that. And that's a blessing. Yes, you know, is. that's such a blessing. That's truly the character of a virtuous woman. Indeed, people rising up, calling her blessed. Amen. Anybody else want to say something? I, I, I got a, one more song after after the share after we finish sharing. But you know. Um, Anybody got anything else? I like to share. I like to share one thing. Another thing about Dad before we close. Uh, I meant to chime in earlier when we were talking about Dad, but one I remember one uh, story that was told that at one meeting one night, Mother took Dad and they were together, and uh, the spirit was not moving. They were try, they were trying hard to get some spirit moving, and it just wasn't happening. And Dad was sitting sitting in the back row, and he just stood up. He put his hands up to the Lord and said, and started singing the song when he, when he, when he, when he, when he what's that song he did when he, when uh, he reached down, reached down his hand. Yeah. When he, when he reached down his hand for me, he started singing that song and all of a sudden the spirit broke in that place. And, and it was just, you know, the spirit just broke loose in that place. And he's difficult. He, and when you brought that up about someone saying that he was one of the most spiritual most spiritual man that 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 came to my mind uh, mm -hmm. uh, about that. Yeah, he just suddenly said, "Start seeing that song when he's trying to reach out his hand for me." And mother said, "The, the spirit broke <laughs> broke in that place, mm -hmm. and it didn't start happening." So I want to share that with everyone. Uh, Recorded mm -hmm. right now. Wow, that's a great. I hadn't heard that story myself. That's wow. I don't that's think I heard it either. That's wow. Yeah. yeah, that's powerful, man. That's, <laughs> and just to imagine Dad standing up in church singing. That's yeah. like that had to be the Holy Ghost, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's God. powerful. That's man. beautiful. That's powerful. Thank Amen. you, man. <laughs> wow. Praise Gene, God. I saw you unmuted. Did you want to say something? I was just thinking about when you said about how all of us have a part of mom, and you know that there was. I was thinking about when, when uh. Moses, Moses' um, father-in-law told Moses that he was it wasn't good that he was trying to handle it, handle so much of the you know responsibilities of the people by himself, and, and and so Moses appointed was it seventy elders or something like that, and he and and the Bible says he imparted his spirit into those elders. So you think about that he. He imparted from him into 70 men. 70, wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so mom had that kind of spirit. It's like, it's, you know, she is, God gave her a lot to impart, you know. Oh, oh, and so for anyone to just think any one person has all of what she had is, is not thinking right concerning what she was packing. 
Yes. <laughs> but she didn't pack it. The reason she, you know, God anointed her so that she could impart. And it's all about multiplications in the kingdom of God, right? Amen. It's about, that's what it's about because, you know, when we can, like, I know, you know, we know Pastor C is carrying a serious mantle on him and impartation uh, from mom, from Mother Tucker. And, and, and it's just, you know, hey, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And we, and we, it, the world is better for yeah. what you you know, what he's walking in. And yeah. then, you know, so, so the thing is, we just, we're thankful to have, like you said, Roy, we're thankful for, to have our parts and according to our graces. And, um, and we all want to hear the Lord say, well done. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I want to hear him say, well done. And I want to say this about dad. I was listening to what Larry said. That was awesome. Daddy, I don't, you know, I don't, and we know that daddy had the fear of the Lord in him. And he, he never tried to oppose mom. And I don't, you know, I don't think that she could have done what she could, what she did without his support. You know what I mean? Right. And um, a lot of the women that were around my mom, around mom that were ministers and that were married, some of them would go home to their husbands and they would be fighting them and physically fighting them and um, accusing them of being out with other men when they were at church serving the, you know, and mama didn't have to deal with no stuff like that, you know? And yeah. in fact, that was a triple A man for the church. I remember people, daddy might never be at church, but it, many times he'd be leaving church and they have a flat tire or something go wrong with the car. Yeah. Call daddy. Daddy right. gets up in the middle of the night and goes and help people. And I never heard daddy complain. Never heard him. No. Never heard no. him complain. He was just available. He was, he was just available. You say and he was I, triple A, I, Gina. You say he was triple A. Church triple A man. He's a church triple A man. That's too precious. <laughs> that is precious. <laughs> and I, you know, and I thought about it even after Daddy passed away. Um, you know how we always we grew up with was always someone who we didn't know was not not any kin to us, really a stranger. That Daddy would allow at least one person would stand with us ever since I can remember mm -hmm. as a little girl, we always had somebody stand with us. Mm -hmm. That was not that we didn't know, you know, it was just literally a stranger, but daddy allowed that, you know? And then after daddy passed away in 1988, um, and then, uh, you know, the shortly after that, I think it was around that time they, that they forced mom to close the, the rescue home. They closed, they forced her to close the, the sleeping quarters down. Even though we, we ended up going back there and we were having church there, we didn't have the sleeping quarters and the serving of the food and all that part was closed down. And, and that was because it was um, orders of the city. But even in that after, but at at some, at, yeah, so, I, okay, this stories are getting kind of cloudy. But I remember when they made mom, the, the, um, the city made mom close put all the people out, basically. They, they deemed it not, you know, fitting or whatever, but it was in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. And they made her close it down. They made her put all those people, I have men and they, they want to cry now, because they made her put all those people, all those men on the street and threatened to put her in jail if she didn't do it. Mm -hmm. and, and that and was Gina, after that. She said, she said, she said, if they put me in jail, just make sure I have my Bible with me because there's a lot of work to do in jail. <laughs> yeah. So they, um, she ended up, daddy, this was after daddy passed away. And mama ended up letting a lot of those people come to our house. And they, was, they were even sleeping in the garage. Mm. And, but that's when I realized how daddy was the stabling factor for our home. <laughs> daddy was a stabling factor for our home environment mm -hmm. because after daddy was passed away mama you know her compassion but i saw so much in that i saw mama's i saw mom's uh respect for daddy as the head of the house mm -hmm. and she submitted to to an order for our home 
you know, mm -hmm. that she didn't try to uh, give daddy a hard time about limitations, right. you know. And daddy was more concerned about his, his family, which was his responsibility. And mm -hmm. after daddy passed, mama didn't have that uh, bound of uh, that, you know, boundary in, um, and I just saw, um, I just saw it and it was everything, you know, I'm not even speaking negatively about nothing. I'm just saying what I saw. Mm -hmm. I saw, I saw how, how she honored dad as yes. the head of the house mm -hmm. and, and then, and how daddy did allow her to keep some people in the house with mm -hmm. the children, the, to a certain extent. Yeah. So anyway, just thought I'd share that. that was that's real. That's very real. Very yeah. real. That's good. Yeah, wow. Thank you, Regina. D. Um, Diane, I saw you on mute for a minute. Did you want to say something? Okay. Um, no, I would just be kind of, you know, I was like, amen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I uh, just, well, I, just the part where Regina was saying about mama. Uh, in the comparison of, of Moses and Mama, mm -hmm. that that would come to me too, as far as just because you've seen, you know, I so many people that she knew or that knew her or that you know come in contact with her, they, you know, something that they got from Mama. Yeah. And I would just say, like, just like what Regina was saying in comparison to Moses, so I believe that everyone really that came in contact with Mom in any way got something, a yes. part of her. Yes. You know, so so that's yeah, that's that's powerful. You know, absolutely, so. that was mm -hmm. definitely, amen, mm -hmm. amen, amen, amen. Jen Marie, you you had actually unmuted. Did you want to say something, or were you going amen too? I want to say, if you want to be great in God's kingdom, learn to be a servant of all. If you want to be great in God's kingdom learn to be a servant of all that was mom and that was dad Amen. and yeah. he said if you if you want to be great in my kingdom it's an upside down kingdom <laughs> and i mean seriously jesus went so far out of the way to tell his disciples you're not going to be like the world in in relation to how you set up leadership even mm -hmm. he said i'm gonna give you an example and he got down and washed their feet. So that's, you know, that's the purity of what mom, and even when she was talking about dad, just that servant, you yeah. know, heart, that's yeah. where the greatness shows for. Mom didn't even, she didn't even, I think Diane and I were talking about this the other day. She didn't even bother with no titles. When she was pastoring originally in Oak Monkey, she was just Sister Tucker. Yeah. Now pastor was on the church, Yeah. you know? But she was Sister Tucker. She didn't demand nobody to call. It was just really the purity, the purity of it, you know? So by the time she became Mother Tucker and Dr. Mother Grace Tucker, man, I mean, she embraced it. She knew how to embrace it, but she wasn't a seeker of it, you know? And that purity, I don't want us to lose. Yes. I don't want us to lose that in the name of Jesus. So Amen. love everybody. I, I do want to say this. I... I I wanted to take the time to say the things because we don't know if we gonna have this chance anymore. And I just love the fact that we get to do this. This is just honorable. Thank you again, Roy. Amen. Thank you. Really, really, really thankful Amen. that y'all jumped on, Pastor CE jumped on and made it a moment. People on Facebook Live jumped on and Lisa chiming in with the stories as well. But she's mother, mom, was worthy of any celebration and honor that we pour on on a consistent basis because we are remembering someone who made an impact. You know, um, there are monuments of people all over the world who have made impact. There are stadiums named after schools, named after people who made impact. So we are doing an honorable thing by honoring our mom, honoring Mother Grace Tucker, honoring her on this day which is her birthday you know as well so i'm gonna share this song and then i'm gonna allow any final words or any final thoughts afterwards but i'm gonna share this song here okay so this is called he knows how much we can pay did 
I play this one? No. Just, just how much, 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 how much,
the voice that just rings in our spirits you know from just over the years of just hearing that the impact of her voice and just who she was in that in that yeah. place of even the songs just the way she would she mom knew some songs and she could make up some songs too mom yeah. could make up some songs in a minute she could write some <laughs> write some new words to the song but she really she just really had an anointing on her that was so powerful. One of the videos, Dolly and them were sharing as well. And they were talking about how that you know there's someone who can get a prayer through, if you will. You know, that that mama, somebody can get a prayer through, but it's the, the praying for you, singing. See, that, that prayer was getting through. Amen. Amen. I know that was a blessing. But you know, I'm a I'm I'm feeling like there might be people who might catch this video later who might not have had the family connection, who might not have had the mother or the father even that we were blessed to have in our example and all. And we always want to be sensitive to those ones who don't have and didn't have what we have because God is able to fill those gaps. Amen. He is able to fill those gaps and he is able to place us in families. The scriptures tell us that he places those who don't have families in families. And, and there's a way that you can be connected into family that connects you in such a way where you don't feel like you're missing anything. And I know people have joined in and we know we call people brother and sister and all that. We know they're like family in that way. But my heart is just reaching out for those who right now might not have that connection, might feel like, oh, I didn't get that or I didn't have that. You know, when I was growing up, well, I didn't get the experience that, wow, wow. But, you know, God is a fulfiller. He is a fulfiller of dreams. He is a restorer of hope. And I've heard it said about restoration. It doesn't mean it's going to be exactly like it was before, but that hope, that joy that God is able to fill and to restore in you, he is able. So right now, I'm going to ask my brother, Larry, if you would pray. Just close us out in prayer with Amen. that in mind as well. Just praying and covering those um, right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for your grace. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you, Father, for your perfect love. And the wisdom that is from above, which is first pure and peaceable. Yes, Lord. Ministering unto us by your spirit, Christ, in us, for us, with us. Yes. As only Christ can be, Heavenly Father, the truth, the light, yeah. for the victory we have in Jesus' name. Yeah. Liberty we have in Jesus' name. Yeah. 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 And the life we have in Jesus' yeah. name. Yeah. 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 And the righteousness we have in Jesus' yeah. name. Yes, yes. And the peace we have in yeah. Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. And the joy we have yeah. in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. And this joy that we have is not yeah. of man. Yes. No, not of the will of man, or the will of flesh. No. But of you, our creator, yes. our father. Yes, Lord. In this world that there's so, so much confusion and fickleness and so forth, you remain steadfast. Yes. yes. You remain faithful. Yeah. And we give you the glory, Heavenly Father. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. We give you the glory for the blood of the Lamb right now yeah. that's speaking the blessing yeah. of Abraham yeah. over the household of faith. Yeah. Over all the family. Yes. Yeah. Name. And Lord, there are lost souls that are looking, looking for the light, that are seeking, and seeking for the love. And yeah. you're here. Yeah. You're here. Yeah. Right now for them. 
Absolutely. You're here for all of us. Yes, Lord. Jesus paid the price, one man for all. One time forever. Mm. One name we call. Jesus yes. is a man. So we give yes. you glory, Father, and thank you for, for Roy giving him the mind and and giving him the the, the wisdom uh, to bring us together yes, for this special you. occasion to celebrate. Yes. To celebrate. I mean, holy ghost celebration going yes. on here. Hallelujah. For the woman that, that changed all of us, the woman that you use that yes. changed and touched us and changed us all. Yes. Thank you. Mother. Our okay. pastor. Oh, oh my goodness, Holy One. Thank you in Jesus' name today. Thank you, Lord. As we lift up the name of Jesus above every name, yeah. exalt the name which she exalted and charged us to exalt the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus above every name. Yeah. Exalt your name, Jesus. You said, if I be lifted up, as Moses lifted up the servant of the wilderness, I would draw all men unto me. I'm the son of man. We give you glory, Father, in Jesus' name today. We are saved in Jesus' name. We are redeemed in Jesus' name. We are esteemed in Jesus' name. We're saved and we are kept in Jesus' name. Giving you glory. Giving you praise. And we say, let all they that seek to rejoice and be glad in thee. Let all that love thy salvation say continually, the Lord. The Lord be magnified. In Jesus' name. The Lord be magnified. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, this has been good. This is, I Praise believe, God. Mother Tucker looking down from heaven, just smiling right now. Just look at them. Look at Praise them. God. Thank God. You, honoring and celebrating the work Amen. and continuing in the work. Amen. You, Amen. All right. Any final words from anybody? We, 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 you know, we can go on and on, but <laughs> praise the Lord. But any final words, buddy? Jesus' name, everybody? Everybody good? So all minds clear? Everybody well, good. praise God. Well, I'm so glad that thank you guys for coming on. Uh, this is this thank is something you, that was just last minute kind of moment, but it was just, this is her birthday. This is actually January 4th. I said it would be remiss to just act like it wasn't, <laughs> you know, and just go on. So, so we, even though we were doing different things on Facebook and celebrating and all that, but the, the Bible study moment that we would typically have done, I said it would be really interesting to not take a moment and just celebrate her life. And everything. So thank you each one for coming on, BJ, uh, Lawrence, Apollos, Jan, Diana, Pastor Gina, Pastor C.E., thank you, thank you, Amen. thank you, thank you. Thank you. You guys made it very special. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Beautiful Amen. job, Amen. boy. Beautiful Amen. job. Amen. 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 Well, I tell you, we're we doing it for the glory of God, but we got that example that we just following, Amen. right? Amen. Amen. All, right. Amen. <laughs> All right. And I see Rodney jumped on the Facebook Live. I was trying to get him in the Zoom as well, but he jumped on Facebook Live. I I used footage from Rodney and Dara. I want to definitely give them kudos for the videos Amen. and the uh, the study the the time that they put in creating some wonderful video oh, videos out there on the ministry. Mother Tucker and just real quick kudos to Rodney, man. He is our media king yeah. in terms of the way he's capturing and yeah. re yeah. redoing and putting things out yeah. there, Rodney. Appreciate yeah. you, man. Amen. Amen. So Amen. much. Appreciate Amen. you. Amen. No, we would have it if you didn't do that. So praise God. And he yeah. says he's out there working. Appreciate you, Rodney. Amen. But the footage is out there. Dara did one, a whole series, a whole part one and part two of, of Grace, of Amazing Grace. So it's out there on YouTube. Those of you that might want to catch it later or something. It's out there. I mean, for those who are watching, of course, later on and all, it is available out there on YouTube. Um, but really appreciate this time and celebrating and honoring our mother, the minister, the pastor, the doctor, Mother Grace Amen. Tucker. Uh, we say happy heavenly 104th Amen. birthday. Amen. Amen. <laughs> all right. Anybody else? A final words? We'll just dismiss. Father, thank you right now for this time. Thank you for your anointing and your presence, Amen. Father, that is here, that we Amen. never leave you. We never leave your presence, Father, and you never Amen. leave 
us. You are forever with us. And we thank Amen. you, Father, that your spirit is flowing freely, thank even you. through these Hallelujah. airways, Father. Those Amen. who might catch this viewing thank later, you. Father, your anointing is still present, thank causing you. lives to be changed, bodies yes. to be healed, souls yes. to be delivered yes. in the name yes. of Jesus. Thank so, Father, you. we thank you yes. for the thank continuation you. of a wonderful yes. work of ministry yes. that will continue for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, God Amen. bless you all. Peace and love be multiplied to all. Love you, family. Love you, love you. Be all right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.